Welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to day 35. This is the end of week five. And today I want you to email me at info dot info at Kimberly Check it with me. Know if there's anything that you need me to pray about with you. I will be getting in contact with you very, very soon. Yesterday I realized I didn't talk about grudging. You know, so this emotion is to display or reflect reluctance or unwillingness. You know, if you have any grudges towards somebody, let's just let it go. Just let it go. Forgive the person. You know, just forgive them. Just, just let it go. It's not worth it. It's not worth letting someone have that much power over us. Amen. Let it go. Some people are just hateful and they're just mean some people got grudges against you some people are probably speaking negative over our lies that breaks now in the name of jesus you know any witchcraft prayer spoken over us our lies i send it back to cinder now in jesus name hallelujah and i pray to get delivered i pray for their salvation amen well, we're not going to walk and hold it on the bridge we're going to walk in love because the bible tells us so many times to love one another Amen. We're going to love one another. So the next thing we're going to talk about is guilty. You know, the enemy wants us to feel guilty, wants to be, want us to be ashamed. You know, I know some, sometimes we, we mess up in life, you know, but we just need to repent and we need to keep going forward. We're not going to let guilt and shame weigh us down, you know, because those kind of things separate us. It, it, it puts distance between us and God. It makes us feel like, oh, we can't come to God. Be messed up, but God loves us. So just repent. And always have a repent of heart. Hey Amen. Don't ever feel like you arrived and got to that place where you're too big and mighty to repent. Come on, somebody. You know, so guilty is having created an offense, crime, violation, or wrong, especially against moral penal law. So just just repent. You know, and keep it moving. Don't you know if you have guilty thoughts, something you did yesterday or last week or a month or two ago, repent. You know, and if you hurt somebody, apologize to that person and make it right. Apologize. If they don't want to accept your apology, oh, well, you did the right thing. You was the bigger person. You apologize to them and let it go. It's in God's hands now. Repent, keep it moving, and let's go. Don't allow guilt and shame to weigh you down. Don't let condemnation weigh you down. Amen. If you repented unto God and you know your heart is right before him. Do not let things weigh you down and hold you down. Know who the sun sets free is free indeed. And there's no condemnation in those who are in Jesus Christ. Amen. Condemnation. Hallelujah. God does not want you to be condemned. You know, you may feel convicted of some things in life that you have done, that you sinned. But you need to repent. All right. Confess your sins and repent. Happiness, happiness, happiness. You know, I challenge you today to think of some things that make you happy. So when you try to feel uh, sad or depressed or something, just think about reflecting those things. Well, I am happy. I, I, it's a lot for me to be happy for. You know, I, I have I have God in my life. God is my joy. And the next emotion we want to talk about is hate. God does not want us to hate anyone. He wants us to walk in love. You know, yes, yeah, some, some people probably hurt you really bad. But, you know, we got to learn. Whew, say, God, bless me just to have love for my enemies amen and you know hate is not a god god is love he commands us to love you don't want to have hate in your heart you know you don't want to die and go to hell and spend an eternity in hell hell is an eternity you don't want to do that you know because of hatred in your heart so just pray for that person the more you pray for them the more the love of god is going to come into your heart amen so just release it you know surrender and press it god i feel hatred in my heart towards this person god but Lord, I release it unto you. Just help me, God. Help me love my enemies, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And just pray for them and bless them. Forgive them. That's the main thing. Forgive them. So the next emotion we're going to talk about is heartbroken. I know uh, a lot of things happen in life that can cause us to get crushed with sorrow or grief. You know, but God is close to the brokenhearted and he binds up all our wounds. You know, so crowd to God so you can get healing in your heart. Amen. Crowd to God. You know, God is going to restore you and he's going to reconcile you back into himself. Hallelujah. So the next emotion we're going to talk about is hope 
hopefulness hopefulness i want to prophesy to you today and tell you that your situation ain't hopeless you know we have jesus christ on the scene you know he is the prince of peace he's the the god of all hope amen so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something what was meant for your evil god is turning that thing around and turning it for your good come on somebody god is turning that thing around for your good put your hope in god put your hope in god and don't put your hope in people or circumstances because it's gonna let you down every time amen so god i come to pray today Lord God, anyone that's going through anything hopeless, God, in their lives, Lord God, God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, God, you can give them hope right now in Jesus' name, God. God, I break sorrow right now off of our lives. Depression must go. Discouragement go right now in the name of Jesus. And God, to send forth your fire, God, of the Holy Ghost to touch us, God, to fill us back up right now in Jesus' name. So let me tell you something. You're going to have a good day today. You're going to rise up and you're going to go forth. You're going to go forth in the Lord. Amen. You're going to write down these declarations. You're going to reflect. And you're not going to let these emotions get the best of you. You're not going to let these uh, negative emotions. Hallelujah. We're at the end of week five, somebody. You're going to press through. Hallelujah. And you're going to make it. You're going to come out victorious. You got the victory. When you get done with this course, hallelujah, you're going to look in the mirror at a new you a new you you're going to be refined you're going to be retuned retuned hallelujah and i prophesy hallelujah some of y'all are going to begin to have dreams hallelujah and god's going to begin to speak to you and you're going to begin to walk in your calling your purpose in life amen so just rejoice i'm excited oh god i'm excited i gotta praise god on that one so be expecting to hear from me soon okay so email me at info at KimberlyHargraves.com and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to hear back from you. Amen. I love, I love, I love to get positive feedback. So I'm expecting the, a good report. Amen.